The Foreseen Arcade. Active. Spirit, please tell us your name. You are ready for your field training, young Ghost Master. We are taking you to the Kappa Lambda Sorority House in Gravenville University. Only a small number of sorority girls are in residence at the moment, but scaring them all away should be a sufficient test of your abilities.
drive the Kappa Lambda girls from their sorority house.
the smug and irritating youths of the Alpha Tau fraternity mock the supernatural and do not respect the dead. One desires that they be made to experience the full power of the spirit world. And now, an opportunity has arisen. As the young mortals gather for a party, three socially maladjusted individuals are attempting a seance in the basement. The members of the fraternity believe they are tuning up their generator, not calling upon the spirit world. They are opening the door. You must not disappoint them. Everyone must be driven away in terror. Then they will know the true power of the supernatural. Stealing all that's left of me. This jar's lid isn't as snug as those I'm accustomed to. If you break me out, I'll help you create quite a spectacle. Thirty seconds. Ah, oh, hello. I lucky, and this lucky's beeping table. Table usually warm and safe, but sometimes table zaps lucky which Lucky not like. Table only zaps when two-legged things play well, though. And two-legged things Ten, not play so well nine, no more. Eight, so Lucky stay seven, here and keep six, warm. Five, four, three, two, one! Drive the Alpha Tau fraternity from their frat house.
A sweet little old lady used to dwell within these walls, but her mind was fading and her sanity fleeting. She loved receiving visitors and hated to see them go. So she administered arsenic in their tea and made certain they would stay a while. Stay forever! The house itself has become unsettled by these events, and although it is not truly sentient, we still have a duty to protect the interests of the unseen world. Let the events that have until now been hidden become known to the mortals. Reveal the corpses to them, and your goal shall be fulfilled. But beware, for one cadaver may not suffice to convince the skeptical police that something sinister is afoot. So, I'm up on this roof, fixing the shoddy coax antenna. Thinking a coat hanger would do better. When I start feeling queasy, I'm thinking maybe the little old lady used non-dairy creamer in the tea. When my gut explodes! I made a grab for the chimney, but I guess I lunged too far, because now I'm stuck in it! Give me a hand, would ya? Hello, sir. Or madam, or, well, whatever you are. Can I interest you in our range of facial care products? Our hydrating night silk works in conjunction with our non-foaming, revitalizing face wash and our botanical moisture splash. May I spritz you with our fragrance? If we could just arrange to demonstrate our products on one of the ladies of the house, I'm sure we can reach. She seemed like such a sweet old dear, making me tea and all when I came to fix the boiler. Next thing I know, I'm a dead man, and she's bricked me up. I reckon I could escape into a mortal's body if someone would just get close enough. Reveal the hidden corpses to the mortals. Thank <laughs> you. 
mortals have discovered a skeleton. Now it must be shown to the police. Kaya. What a toggle down. The police have arrived. Let them conduct their investigation. For rolling a dam? The police will report this body, but it will take the discovery of a second corpse to initiate a full investigation. Blusher would better suit Madame if her facial skin tone were paler. Shall we find out? Hmm?
The handyman has arrived. He may be useful in revealing the bodies.
this body will do for now. But I burn them out pretty fast, so keep them coming. What a target, Dan? A tin nice ate. A refined morte. The police have arrived. Let them conduct their investigation.
A rash professor of the occult recently took a powerful tome to the woods with the goal of summoning an ancient spirit known as the Darkling. Fleeing his cabin after disastrous initial experiments, he renewed his research at the university. Three of his students, wrapped with dreams of power, have stolen his notes and journeyed to the cabin intending to locate the arcane book for their own nefarious purposes. Aid them in performing the summoning so we may recruit the Darkling for ourselves. may dance no more. How fetid and foul this porcelain contraption built by mortal hand. When will they unleash the torrent within and flush the spirit's way to freedom? I am known as Whisper Wind, humble scion of the winds. My skies are denied me by uncle human sorcery, which seals me within this dream catcher. Though I yearn to be free of this ramshackle dangling trinket, to return to the wide world beyond, I dare not escape without aid. What a... I remember that ghastly tome. His what a tarsal down. My heart slowing as I'm my sanity busy. fled till death. Ah, uh, gig The lust of the living have passed me by. Save I the desire the for revenge. I that must show to the living the truth of the dead. Oh, Darcy's in. Thirty seconds. <laughs> Manipulate all three mortals into summoning the Darkling by using the ancient tome. of freedom. Oh, thank you, kind entity.
Ghostmaster, do not allow the deranged professor to foil our plans. The screams of the living almost match mine! I crave more of their music! The ritual is complete, but the Darkly needs more souls to be freed. A task for later attention. For the time being, enjoy your victory. Because of your successes, these haunters have been spared from other campaigns to join you in Gravenville.
Mortals are such pathetic, amusing creatures that we of the dead rarely feel the need to involve ourselves in their poorly justified beliefs. Unless, of course, those beliefs pertain to our existence. Don Bartholomew, a criminal mortal of some self-importance, has been bad-mouthing the dead, claiming that there ain't no such thing as ghosts. We ask that you persuade him to change his mind. Call me Wave Master, spirit of the ocean, undying of the deep. Curse the progeny of monkeys, they who wreathe the waves and cast their fellow beings into the deep. Their tender swathed in stone. Now they have imprisoned me within this dark oubliette from which I cannot escape. If only the mortals were sufficiently motivated to empty this vile bilge water. That damn Pulitzer had me snooping at the Dawn's grandmother's funeral. But it was the goons with the guns that had me hiding in the coffin, see? That's when I really felt the heat, know what I'm saying? Now I'm just ashes in this here urn, the Dawn thinking I'm what's left of his grandma and all. If you could bust me loose, I'd be grateful. I was the Don's favorite pianist. He loved to hear me tickle the ivories. It all fell apart one night when the boss was in a particularly bad mood. I guess I played the wrong tune. Went and got myself shot. But hey, I'm a professional. I just want to finish the tune I was playing. If only I could remember what it was. 30 seconds! I don't mind losing at the tables, the bank being Don Bartholomew's money and all. Huh? That damn croupier so is afraid of bonds will make sure the house always wins. I catch him at it, we should nice shoot him dead with that little pop gun. <laughs> Stop Ten, right, you know? Nine, I gotta get him eight, back. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one! <laughs> Don Bartholomew believes there are no ghosts. Prove him wrong. Make him believe. Scas as that, I'll keep trying to attack. Scas as that, Guess is that? A year to the day. Nah, that croupier sure can run. I guess you're the boss now. Anyone you need leaning on? I guess. 
Me basta, e no, è drone. Trill done, sir.
Hey, that's it. The dawn's least favorite tune. Hey, turns out you're one hell of a conductor. Got any requests?
The perky antics of the insufferable Kappa Lambda sorority house are excruciating at best. Ordinarily, they would be beneath our attention, but since your recent success terrifying the Alpha Tau fraternity, they have become strangely cautious. The sorority house recently accepted three new pledges as part of a plan to protect themselves against any actual attacks from the spirit world. By covering them of student witches, the mortals must not be encouraged to invite protection against us. Swift and decisive action is required. Drive the witches away from the sorority house. Is away from the sorority house. The perky and is away from the sorority house. I thank you, kind entity. Though I now refuse to answer the incantations of mortals, I will gladly aid your struggle. Check out this crazy, crusty light source device. How retro is this? Those freaky voodoo chicks downstairs accidentally trapped me here while, like, making that spooky protection circle? I'm really gonna need something a bit more, you know, current if I'm gonna bust free. Something with a bit of juice to it. It's like totally out there. At Gate like Punch Ate. In a mirror, you know? Yes, yeah, Susu. I don't I mean, I'm a barnyard, a barn bear. <laughs> it's a nice day. It's an artle down. Oh, that's Sidland Day. You're just Andal Ate. Notice the 
It would do super nicely if it weren't already taken.
The mortals of Gravenville are sorely shaken by your victories. Now you must capitalize on your successes by taking away their sense of security. Hell Street Precinct Station serves much of the city and is a bastion of order and civic duty. The perfect target. Empty it of all mortal presence, and you cannot fail to spread fear into the heart of the city. Hell Street Precinct Station of all mortal presence. And now, discoverer, servant to your noble cause, a royal spirit. I never meant to kill no one, but I guess I did, and I guess I deserved the chair because of it. Last one I was, last to go on this chair, or local cops stop administering the juice. Now I'm stuck here, got all this power, but nowhere to flow it. Excuse me, citizen. Maybe you could help me? Seems that I was set up. The punks I was busting were waiting for me, guns in hand. I reckon their source is on the inside. A cop on the take, you know? I gotta know who it was. I'll bet he's having nightmares of being found out. I wonder how much my life was worth.
scumbag, but you ain't got any. Hope the money was worth it, cause your soul ain't worth a song.